Hello everybody, this is Zelda Maniac 94 and welcome back to Super Mario Odyssey! Today we're going to the Brutals Over the Lake mission, uh, in the, 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 the kingdom that has the water. Cause I... Lakeside! Lakeside Kingdom, right? Like, Cappy! Cappy, where are we? No! Where... Yeah, sure, where are we? Uh, yeah, Lake Kingdom. I knew it. Okay. So we need eight moons or more in order to get to the next area. Hi there. What do you have to say? My goodness, that monster's minions just stomped in here uninvited. And they stole our kingdom's finest lock, lock, lock lady dress. It's a tragedy. Uh, not really sure what language it is, but lock means lake. Actually, I'm going to look that up. Give me one second. Lock. Wikipedia, a lock nope. is a mechanical or electronic fabric. Wrong lock! Is released by a physical object. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Oh, okay. So, uh, lock is Irish, Scottish Gaelic, and, uh, Scots. Okay. Okay, cool. Alright. A little bit of a history lesson. Not really history, but it's more of a language thingy. Okay, what? I forgot how to do the thingy. Oh, I messed up. Hold on, I... Yeah, yeah, I know, I messed up. Let's try it again. Now I know I have time. Yeah, did I... I got a moon! Well, not yet. It's there, though. I promise. It's right in front of my eyes! You got a moon! Taking notes, diving... Swim. It's been a long time since I've played Super Mario Odyssey. Again, something I love and just kind of hate at the same time is the fact that it keeps track of your progress. Like the... Looking for water plaza, the, the way is right behind me. Okay, what, what is that? Uh... Hey... Excuse me? What was that? Was I a zipper? That's new. What's in here? <gasps> Coins! My favorite. Also, do you like my outfit? It's nice and neat. Oh, there's a, that's not a moon, but that's a thingy. Oh, that's uh, not important. Huh. You can toss Cappy underwater, too. Yeah. Okay, what else do we got here? They've broken the stairs to the water plaza. Well, how dare they? Those fiends. Alright, let's see what we can see. Yeah, it's, uh, right there. Okay. Cool. Okay, I need to... What is, what is that? Oh, I see. There's a pattern here. Well, I did a thing. Oh, wait. I can, uh... Ooh, regional coins. My favorite. Alrighty. So, then... Oh, I see. So, how do I get up there again? Uh, not like that. Oh, it's right there. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> go figure. Wait, how do I get in there? Oh, I go underwater. <clears throat> it's right there. Wee! Watch out for those spikes. Uh, that really shouldn't be a problem. I will say one thing that, uh,. I really appreciate it as far as underwater goes is that you know the biggest problem and again I think I've said this before in a different video I'm not sure what it was but I said it before one of the biggest problem that people I would say gamers just people who play games as a whole 
the biggest problem I think they have with underwater levels is that, you know, it really changes your control style. You know, because, you know, playing against your favorite character becomes completely different. Whether it be for, you know, better or worse. But, uh, oh, that's beautiful. But, uh, Super Mario 64 and, uh, you know, likewise, you know, this game and, you know, the Mario games that did this, they handled the underwater levels really well. Uh, I mean, you still play differently, but... <sighs> Sorry about that. They play really differently, but they still manage to have really good control schemes, which is very appreciated. Okay, I need this... I need, I need, I need that moon. Yeah, treasure in the spiky waterway. But, uh, so yeah. I really appreciate what the 3D Mario games did for underwater portions of games. Owie! That really hurt. Oh, yeah, this is beautiful. Just don't have to worry about the air. Yep. Good job, Cappy. Ooh. I got coins. So happy. Hey, right, where's the other star? Not star piece. Moon pieces. Oh, that's a coin. Well, the teachers just kind of like frantically swim around. Can't do anything special with them aside from swimming. That's all you need to do. Okay. Look at you looking all dapper. Oh, out of the way, please. Okay. Wait. Well, that was easy. You got Moon, Dory Backrider. Oh, yeah, the Dory. I remember that from uh, Super Mario 64. It was weird because when I first saw it as a kid, I was like, what even is that? And. You have to pound his back in order to get him a star, and it's kind of annoying. You got a moon. Cheap, cheap crossing. That was not hard. Alright, but I still need to find the other um, moon shards, <coughs> wherever they be. Um, I don't... This music is really calming. That's like... Sleepy time music right there. Hey, I can breathe in here. Get out of here. Who put this rock here? Isn't it dreadful? I, I can't do anything. I'm sorry. I got a thingy. Oh boy. That's weird. It's so cool. It's like it's a it's its own isolated little bubble thing. I like that. That's really cool. Sploosh, sploosh, sploosh. Water Plaza display window. There's a lovely lock lady dressed in this display window. But that bouncer came and stole it. It stole our kingdom's greatest treasure. But how dare he? So, we need to get in there, I guess. If you travel all the way to the lake, you should dress for the occasion. To get into the lock lady dress display window, you have to dress like a swimmer. So you don't like all dressed for swimming. I'm very disappointed. I'm sorry. I came here looking all dapper for you. All right, let's go buy the clothes I need. If we have the money, we show the money for it. Hi there. How may I help you, traveler? Some new products in. Well, how about this? I need that. We got Power Moon. Yeah! Shopping in Lake Lamode. Okay, but uh, I still need more clothes. Fashionable cap. An upscale upgrade to uh, staying heroes upper half. Fashionable outfit. It's not clashing. You're clashing. Okay. Well, I don't have the money for it. Might as well buy it. Let's change that. And this. We need to be fashionable. Well, I completely messed up. Wow, that really doesn't work with the hat I'm wearing. Woo! Oh, wait, we have a closet here. Good. Uh... 
There it is. Yeah! Looking so fashionable. This really doesn't work here, does it? Okay, do I look better? I love messing up other people's stuff. Okay, so am I good to go now? You travel away the lake, can you reach the... Okay, I was not dressed for swimming, apparently. Let me in! Alright, let's see if I can find those last moon pieces. Oh, wait, what? Oh, that was weird. Yeah. This is really strange. Okay, so where's the other moon piece? There's money up there. Not for long. All right. Um. What do you have to say? So above his roof, above that, here you get there somebody. Okay. Um. No, how about this? Water Plaza entrance. Can I even make it down here without drowning? Though I don't know what happened if you drown. Will you just start losing health? Because I can completely bypass, bypass that with the uh, Peach Amiibo. Oh yeah. You just lose health. Which is no problem. Hey there, how'd you get down here? Swimming with this backpack is tough. I don't even know how I made it here. Oh, but I discovered this power moon. Thank you, Captain Toad. Got let's go swimming, Captain Toad. Thank you. Wonder how you get home? Probably through this pipe here. What does it even lead to? That is cool. Alright. Well, I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you all so very much for watching. This is Zelda Maniac 1994, signing out.